All right, what's going on everybody? It's Edwin here for Strictly Comics and this is going to be my first video for how to grade comic books. I have not cleaned or pressed this yet, but I'm about to. But before I do that, I kind of want to go over it uh, because I want to get a, a, a grade before cleaning, after cleaning, and then obviously before uh, slabbing and after it gets back from CGC. So um, this is a golden age book. It's uh, Batman number 94. As you can see, it's in, um, let me see if I can get some good lighting here. Um, so it seems to be in pretty good shape. You got some spine ticks right there. Uh, you got what appears to be some, you know, some, some spine wear. Um, but overall, this book is in beautiful shape. There's actually, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think there's any staple rust. It's just a beautiful golden age copy. Now you do got some, this line right here, which is probably like some kind of sun, sun shading. I'm not sure if it was, uh, if that's a fold. It doesn't appear to be like a fold because I don't see it on the other side. You see you got some, some staining right here. Not too sure on how the staining is going to affect the grade, but and then right here, I don't know what this is, some kind of color wear, color rubbing, fading, I'm not sure, but it's it's supposed to be completely pink. And then, you know, you got some, you see this uh, dirt and grime. Now I should be able to clean a lot of that off. You see the kind of the brown sp spottiness. You got like a tiny, tiny little tear there. Um, and then this right here. The back cover is just gorgeous. You got this right here, which I might be able to clean off, but I'm not gonna expect to. This book was printed, I think 54 or 55. 1955. You see the, the staples are, uh, you got these tiny little tears, not tears, but you just can see through. But the, the, the book is completely attached to the staples. And I don't want to, you know, aggravate that or anything like that because this book is in pretty good shape. Uh, but as you can see, it's a really, really nice Golden Age copy. So, you know, all the things that I pointed out, all the flaws, all the defects, uh, gives me about a, uh, a 5 to 5.5 grade. Now, grading is subjective. Some people would agree with me, some people would disagree with me. Some people grade it higher, some people grade it lower. Uh, but I find myself to be a pretty good grader. We're gonna clean it and press it and then we're gonna come back, okay? All right. Okay, everybody, it's Edwin back again for Strictly Comics. And just real quick, wanted to show you the uh, before and after cleaning and pressing results. Um, not really much that I could have done to this book. And I'll show you guys why. Uh, we did get the uh, the little dip out of the spine so it was kind of dipping there a little bit and uh, we did get that out and and maybe a few creases but uh, other than that there's just not much else uh, that I can do to this book the corner is a little rough uh, let's see it's very very nice very nice copy though Go down the spine one more time. So it's still more flat and it looks a little bit better. Um, I tried to whiten this up and I just, I couldn't do anything about it. Like I said, it's more like a browning slash staining. I don't know if it was just completely exposed to some, some of the elements or what, but I did buff it out. So it has a little bit of a, uh, a shine to it um, from buffing it out. So um, it still looks a little bit better, but I'm going to come to a conclusion. And then this right here, of course, there's nothing I can do about a tiny little tear. Um, and then another thing I actually noticed as I was cleaning it, which I didn't notice before is uh let me see we'll go over here is uh is it that right there that little tear i i didn't really notice that before um so i i'm gonna submit this to cgc and then this i couldn't do anything about that's some kind of stain 
but I'm going to conservatively uh, grade this around a uh, 5 to 5.5. I always do a worst case, best case scenario. I think I would want to give it slab just to kind of preserve it a little bit. I think the value, the, the value is kind of hard to determine on this book because there's not really a whole lot of them recorded. Um, I think at a 5 to 5.5, I think I could easily put this easily probably between a $350 to $400 book. So, hey everyone, be sure to join us Saturday and Sunday, December the 15th and 16th on YouTube over at The Great Legend Show for our first 2018 charity auction. Every auction will be starting out at 99 cents and 100% of the proceeds will be donated to the Hero Initiative. We'll be auctioning off CGC and CBCS graded comics, pops, original art, raw and signed comic books that have been donated from people all around the community. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss this. Okay, everybody, so I just got the book back from CGC not too long ago, and now it's time for the moment of truth. Uh, as you recall, I think I predicted this book to come back as like a 5.0, I think maybe a 5.5, um, because I have a hard time kind of grading these older books, especially kind of in the mid-grade range, and especially with that... Uh, that uh dye or, or discoloration that's over there on the side but it came back in and let's go ahead and reveal what the final grade is after the cleaning and the pressing this book this golden age batman came back as a cgc 6.5 off white pages i could not be happier i think i paid like 75 bucks for this book and now it's potentially worth about three to four hundred. So thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Uh, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. I will be posting this on Instagram if it's not posted already. Also, please don't forget about the charity auction coming up this weekend. Everything, uh, all 100% of the proceeds will be donated to the Hero Initiative. Uh, it's all going to a good cause. So that's it, everybody. Uh, keep God first in your life. And enjoy your comic books. Until next time, everybody. Peace.